Hello, everybody. Welcome to the webinar. Uh, my name is Charles Riley. I'm a co-founder and the chief customer officer of the High School Esports League. Uh, I also am a part of the customer success team. And what we do is we help you get onboarded and help you get your club started. Um, if you have any questions along the way, I know this is new for a lot of people, you just contact one of us. It's myself, Ben DePally, or Shannon Lee. Uh, you can schedule a call with us, email us anytime, um, and we'll get back to you and help you as best we can. Um, I'll go over our contact info at the end of this webinar. Here's a brief overview of the HSEL, High School Esports League, or HSEL, is the largest and longest operating competitive gaming organization serving high school students and educators. With 3,000 partnered schools, across the US and Canada and over 80,000 students. Our mission is to make esports available to every student as a legitimate varsity level sport in high schools across the nation. Through organized competition, students will tie their commitment to gaming to their success in academics and future career development. Uh, a recap of the last school year, we had over 12 titles supported. Uh, we provided over $80,000 in scholarship prizing. We had over 10,000 matches played across all those titles. And we have 53 states and territories, territories represented across the U.S. and Canada. What is eSports? eSports is organized video game co competition. Video games are a $150 plus billion industry. <laughs> $150 billion industry, employing over 200,000 high paid workers in the USA alone. Esports viewership rivals traditional sports and professional gamers earn big salaries and prize money. There are several different games to specialize in just like football, baseball, soccer, etc. Getting started, partner with HSEL. After school clubs must have a dedicated teacher sponsor and administrative approval. Um, I know some schools have special cases. Uh, if you feel like you have a special case where you think it's you're, you're not meeting the requirements, just contact uh, the success team and we'll go over it with you. Fund your team and sign up to compete. HSEL league fees are affordable and scale according to club size. You can raise money for your esports club for many sources, your school's budget, federal education grants, and programs like Varsity Esports Foundation and Fund My Team. I'll go over those two, those last two here um, in a few minutes. Once you've signed up with us, get the word out to your students. Make your esports club known to students. Include it in morning announcements, host engagement meetings, print and hang posters, email students, and encourage passionate students to recruit their friends. So if you feel like you have something in mind, um, but you don't know how to put it in words or pictures or the posters, just contact us. We can make it happen for you. Um, and we see a lot of students will become leaders in this club or in these clubs. So um, if you can find a passionate one, they'll definitely take charge and uh, help you along the way. After all the kids are, um, excited and signed up for the club <clears throat> and you've registered you can form your rosters register your students on our website and, and sign up to compete in hscl tournaments don't worry if uh at, after this presentation i'll show you how to get them all added and rostered but uh if you don't if you get lost we have tons of guides to help you um, get your IT department up to speed. Provide links to HSEL's technical help pages to your IT department so students can compete on campus. So it shows what ports to open, what the minimum specs are for the PCs, and what the recommended specs are for the PCs. We also provide equipment. Um, <clears throat> if you sign up for a three-year deal, we'll send your school um, six gaming PCs that meet all the requirements. So just contact the success team and we'll go over the, all of that. After that's all set up, compete, encourage your students in your program to practice together and make sure they attend all of their matches. Um, I recommend at least 
one day a week of practice uh, for a couple hours in person. I know with COVID happening, that might not be possible for a lot of schools, but and if the future remains unseen for the fall. Um, but as long as they can get log on together and, and practice, they can do that through any program that you provide. It, it could be Microsoft Teams or Discord. Uh, make sure they just get together, coordinate, and they can practice. We'll also have scrimmage windows available for students to, to get into. Um, and yeah, it's, it's, just make sure they're, they're coordinating and, and showing up for match times. Connect students with scholarship and college recruiting opportunities. Join the CR General channel on the HSL, HSEL Discord server to learn about colleges with esports programs for your most skilled student competitors. So we have a ton of college recruiters looking for students and they don't even have to be the best of the best. A lot of these colleges are just looking for kids that are trainable um, and are eager to become better at, at esports. And even more and more programs are being developed that involve esports management, streaming, and whatnot. So it, the industry is just going to blow up even more over the next few years. So the sooner you get signed up and, and start an esports program at your high school, the better. So the fall major will start September 28th and run to December 20th. Uh, registration for that will be, it will start August 24th. Um, I know a lot of schools get in late September or mid September uh, and you will feel rushed to get all your students signed up. Don't worry if you don't make that 928 deadline, you can have another week or so to get in. Um, we'll have makeup windows, but we encourage you to get in as soon as possible because you don't want to be scrambling and uh, the sooner the better. But if you feel like you can't make it, just contact this customer success team and we'll get you in. We also have a winter and spring season scheduled. Um, registration for the winter will start early January and the one for spring will start early February. National championships compete with schools across the nation for scholarships. Top teams are invited to the national championships. Uh, for now, it's all online, but there has been discussion of in-person events for certain titles. Um, finals will be streamed live on Twitch and your students can earn up to $1,000 in scholarships for winning. Pricing. Um, for our majors, the fall and the spring, it'll be $40 per seat. Um, with a seat, your student can play as many games as you allow them to. And that, that $40 unlocks the access to do all the tournament stuff on our website. Excuse me. Uh, we also have a per year uh, package where it's $89 per seat. You get a minimum of four tournaments. That's the fall, winter, spring, and summer. Uh, we'll also be host hosting smaller one-off tournaments that will be included in that price. And now we have a per school price um, that starts at $1,800 per year, depending on your school size. That's the this lowest bundle. Um, unlimited seats, as many kids as you want. Some of our clubs have well over 200 students in them, so they're getting a pretty hefty discount with these unlimited bundles. Uh, you get all the tournaments, you get $45 uh, custom jerseys and a spirit apparel store with one of our new apparel partners, uh, professional development courses and health and wellness coaching and more, a $100 credit to uh, Gamer Sensei, which is a coaching platform, a, a loot crate with free swag. We'll send that to you at the beginning of the year. It comes with shirts, bags, stickers, lanyards. Um, so you can give that out to some of your students. Uh, if you have a large school district that wants to run their own tournament, you, you, we can set that up for you. That's different pricing. Just contact, uh, 
the success team and we can set that up for you. So if you want to run a one week long tournament for a certain game, or you want your own multi-week tournament with several games, we can do that for you. Uh, we can build it out for you. Just contact us if you're interested in that. Uh, also game licenses are not included in this price. We do not provide any games so that you include that in your, uh, your budget when pricing out. School pricing, uh, here is the chart for uh, based on school size. So you can either purchase a one year unlimited or three year and you'll save some money. Um, if we add any more value into our uh, bundles, like look, let's say you're in for the three years and a year in we add more stuff, that will be included in this. Um, and there's lots of companies that want to give us stuff to give out to our schools. So um, I encourage schools to do the unlimited package, but whatever works best for you, whatever's cheapest for you, um, just if you feel like you're confused by the pricing or you, you need it to be cheaper, or I should say that you, you need it to make sense for your school, uh, just contact the success team. Funding resources. Did you know that HSL partners with the Varsity Esports Foundation? If your school district, or school district or organization is classified as Title I in, in low income areas or offers free and reduced lunch, then your school may be eligible to financial assistance for league fees and or equipment. <clears throat> and I'll show you how to get there and uh, submit an application. Uh, High School Esports League has partnered with Fund My Team to provide an easy hands-off fundraising service for esports programs. Fund My Team captains will contact donors and local sponsors through a 25-day online hands-off fundraising campaign. Net funds go directly and immediately to your account. Uh, they've been having very successful campaigns, uh, especially over the past few months. Uh, more and more schools are looking to esports. Uh, because regular sports have been shut down uh, for the foreseeable future. HSEL offers a STEM accredited gaming curriculum called Gaming Concepts, which has been developed by two of our partnered educators, Dr. Christy Custer and Mr. Michael Russell, soon to be Dr. Russell. Uh, gaming Concepts teaches college and career ready skills and social emotional learning all through the lens of video games and esports. I know them personally, so uh, if you need help getting in contact with them, they are always happy to help teachers that want to implement this curriculum. They're also working on more curriculum, so uh, stay tuned. Tournaments aren't the only way for students to win prizes. As students build their gaming resumes, you can also connect students with scholarship and college recruiting opportunities. Join the CR General channel on the Discord and uh, you can speak to some of these recruiters directly. Clubs that opt in for the per school pricing package are eligible for a catered merch store from Skulls through our new gaming centric apparel company partnership. They will receive a discount of $50, $15 on all jerseys and they'll create this custom store where you can uh, sell shirts, um, hoodies, jerseys, and I, we have coffee mugs, so I'm not sure if they can do that for you, but <laughs> uh, I'm sure they will. We also partner with a bunch of other Companies here, a few of them. Uh, Microsoft provides the gaming concepts curriculum on their educator pro or portal. DNH uh, is our approved hardware vendor. Gamer Sensei is our esports coaching provider. And 1HP provides professional development courses in health and wellness coaching and more. Um, and we have more and more companies wanting to. Uh, throw into the pot and uh, provide for our schools. So you, you're getting a ton of value when you uh, sign up with us. Here are the games that we're looking to run for the fall. It's subject to change. 
Um, there may be another popular game that comes out in the next few months that we're, we'll consider adding for the fall. But it's Super Smash Brothers Ultimate, Rocket League, FIFA, NBA 2K, Madden, Minecraft, Overwatch, Hearthstone, Valorant, Street Fighter, Fortnite, CSGO, Rainbow Six, and COD Modern Warfare. They all have different prices and different ratings. It's up to you what you want your kids to play. Um, they could play multiple games if you let them, but you're in control of what games they sign up for under your club. Um, some of them are team games and some of them are solo games. You can find that out on the website and I'll show you where you can go to uh, find that information here in a few minutes. We have a new queue system, no more forfeits and a better participation percentage. Queue up at any or an available time that works best for your teams. Multiple days and queue times offered each week. Always paired with a team that is ready to play and match up with teams at a similar skill level. So I'll show you here in a few minutes what the schedule looks like and why we uh, built the system out. Um, but it's a, it's a great new system before teams would sign up and then midway through the season would just drop out. Um, they would still be scheduled in and it would, it was a, it wasn't the best experience for some of our schools. So we built out the queue system where schools will always be matched with the team that's ready to go. And those teams that drop out midway through the season will no longer affect any other teams. So it's really awesome. So I'm going to go over uh, our website where you can find all the info and how to add students to the site as well. Um, this is the HSEL main website. If you haven't signed up already, you can do so with this button. And after you're done signed up, it, it takes about a uh, one to two days to get verified by our team. And once you're approved, we'll send you a follow-up email and try to set up another call. Uh, you Then after that, you log in up here at the top right. If you need to set up a one-on-one -on -one call with us um, before you sign up, you can do so here. You click this. It'll show you the days. Right now it's Ben's schedule. So all those different times. Um, if you don't find a time that you like with Ben, you can copy paste this link. That'll take you to my schedule. If you need help with anything uh, with setting up on the website or rules, we have a help center up here at the top right. Click that. Any technical help, payments, game rules. We'll have the fall major when that comes up, match settings getting started all here. If you don't see it on the front page, you can type in what you're looking for and it, it will probably bring it up. But if it doesn't, if it isn't brought up, we have a help button at the bottom right that you can leave a message for a live support agent. They'll get back to you as soon as possible. Uh, we also have the discord that you can join um, that you can talk directly to staff. But I, I think this right here, filling out this info and leaving your question is the best way that's we can keep track of it better that way. So if you click the school programs button at the top right, it'll take you to our partnership page where it goes over all the perks that we have with all of our partners. And you click these orange buttons, it'll take you to their websites or give you more information if you want the hardware deal through main gear, click, click this button. Um, if you want to know more about the VEF, the Varsity Esports Foundation, click there, It'll take you to the website. Um, where, it's probably further down. Here's a, a guide on how to get your club started at your school. It has uh, some downloadable uh, posters that you can uh, print out and plaster all over the school. Uh, Fund My Team, you can find down at the bottom of this page. 
Um, I suggest all schools sign up for this. It's there's no harm in signing up for it. It's, it's zero dollars. They only take a cut once they uh, they raise the money you require. And then also grants. Here's an uh, example of how the, these links will help you get STEM grants for your program. Um, also, a lot of school districts have grant writers, so approach them and see if you can get a grant for your esports program. <clears throat> Here's the gaming concepts uh, Microsoft portal. You can click there and it'll teach you all about it, or you can click here um, and download the PDF. This is free, so <clears throat> if you need it, just download it and do whatever you wish. Uh, here's all our social buttons. So Twitch, Facebook, Discord, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, and a button to mail our partner, partner at highschoolesportsleague.com. Um, up here, the tournaments page, it, it'll be updated for the fall, but this is what the spring looked like. We had a preseason, um, and then we had a regular season, which is eight weeks long, and we take the top teams after the regular season. Um, typically, it's the top 16, but depending on the the, how many kids sign up, how many teams sign up. It could be top eight all the way up to top 128, where they go into a one uh, or single elimination two-week playoff. And then we crown the, the top winners uh, with trophies and uh, scholarship prizing. And here's how the queue system schedule works. We provide uh, queue times on, each, on a few days a week. So, for example, Overwatch – could meet up on Monday at 4 Central and 7 Central, and on Wednesday at 4 Central, 7 Central. You'd log in <clears throat> and queue up, get matched with your opponent, play the match out on the game server, and then report the score on our website. You only ha have to do it once a week. Um, if you miss a window, we have makeup windows throughout the tournament. Um, so if you miss a, a week's worth of windows, don't worry. You can always get in uh, at another time. And we run all the way into the weekend. These times are not set for the fall. So don't worry about what you're seeing. We may add more windows um, and more days for these games. If you want to know more about the games and what the team sizes are, we have all these buttons here with the games themselves uh, shows you CSGO 5v5 played on the computer. If you want to go download it, click here. Want to learn more, go here. And then the rules for the HSEL can be found here. Um, this is game focused rules, but we also have our general tournament rules on this page. Make sure your kids go over everything on this page. Um, we do have rules about toxic behavior and cheating and trying to report wrong scores. We do issue out punishments for breaking the rules and we'll get you involved um, if there's ever a dispute that can't just be handled immediately. Um, if your kids or yourself see something you don't, you don't agree with, um, incorrect reporting of a match score, cheating, hacking, negative or toxic behavior, using players not registered on the roster or breaking of the game rules. You fill out a match dispute form. That'll go directly to our, our team, our support team, and they'll, uh, they'll get on the case. Okay, so after you're logged in, it'll look like this. This is your main dashboard. You can invite students to your club with this button. You click here. You can type out their emails one by one and add email and then click send. 
or you can copy this link that's generated. It'll say generate link button. You copy this, you could post it in your Microsoft Teams or Discord that you have, or if you have an email list, just send that to them. They'll click the link and then it'll ask them to fill, make a profile and then add them to the club once they've filled out the profile. Your students will need to fill out their game connections on the website. Um, I will have that changed by fall. So I'll, I'll have more webinars before the fall. So the website might look a little different by then, but we'll, we'll go over that. And, but if you have any questions, our support team or the success team can help you out. Um, usually clubs, if you're, if you're trying to change something or add a member, click over here, go to, this is my club. It'll have my information. You can edit this anytime. Go to your members page, invite students like on the main dashboard. Once you've added all your students, you'll need to pay for their seats. So you can either do that at the club pay center, you'd put in your payment info, and then how many students are actually going to be participating in this tournament. Um, fill that out and purchase the seats. And once that's done, you'll go to edit seats and you'll, it'll, you can do a bulk action and add them all in at once. And that means they're active, ready to be placed on a roster. If you don't want to pay by card, we do invoices. Um, so just contact the customer success team. Um, and we'll issue an invoice. Just let us know what you're, you want to sign up for, whether it's one tournament, a year, or do the unlimited bundle. And we'll issue the invoice and then add the seats manually to your club. And then you can go into the edit seats button. Your students can also um, pay for themselves. Out here, they'll have their own pay center. Um, so they would just click that and put in their own card info. Once that's done, once you make all your, or once you have everybody paid for, you go to rosters, create a new roster for each game that you're, or each team you're making for each game. You name the roster, roster Overwatch, select the game. Overwatch, signing up for the high school esports league. It's a team game. Then you would add the members. Their names would populate there. Um, and then you would save that roster up here, top right. You go back. Once you have all your rosters created, you can go to this tournaments tab over here, click competitions, and it'll list out all of the uh, tournaments you can sign up for. Um, so just make sure you match up what you're signing up for. So HSEL, it'll be fall. If you have a rainbow six team for PS4, you would click that. We also run rainbow six for Xbox or we, and PC. So just make sure you're signing them up for the right one. Also NBA, um, and Madden have different tournaments. On, on different platforms. So make sure you're getting the kids in the right one. If they, if you mess up um, getting them into the tournament, let us know immediately and we'll fix it. And again, we ha we'll have makeup windows, so it won't really affect anything. We just need it to correct. We need to correct it as soon as possible. And games like um, Fortnite and Rocket League, those are cross platform. So it doesn't matter what they're signing up on. Uh, they, they all go into the same tournament against other players on different platforms. Okay, and once that's done, you're ready to go, then your students will play their match out. Um, it, it'll show their times to play here. Since I'm not signed up for anything, it's not showing it, but they would click a button that says join and then queue up and then they're in that queue. They have to sign in at match time, the queue time to get in and then it's a 15 minute window after the 15 minutes is up, they get matched up with their opponent. They'll communicate to them and say, hey, I'm setting up the lobby. Then they add each other in the game 
play the match out, and then report the score. Um, so Generation Esports is the platform that you'll be competing on. That's our overall company that we are running tournaments for other organizations. So High School Esports League is how we started, but um, organizations were coming to us to help them run tournaments. So we're expanding into youth leagues. Uh, we'll have a middle school league. Uh, we'll have college leagues, corporate leagues, military leagues, and adult rec leagues. Um, so if you see anything that's Generation Esports, that's us. So next steps for you. Uh, if you haven't already, go to our site and click the sign up button. If you, need to, uh, if you need additional help or have more questions that you need answered directly, set up a one-on-one -on -one call. If you're interested in the middle school esports league, please email me at charles at highschoolesportsleague.com. Um, and if you know anybody else that would be interested, please have please give them my contact info. You can also call us directly at 816-683-1002. Um, one of us will answer, or if not, leave a voicemail. Um, and here's all of our contact emails. So um yeah if you have any questions just email us directly and we'll answer as soon as possible and that concludes the webinar thank you